In a cage in her house, there lived a hoppet. Not just any old hoppet. This one is Shire. This one is Little Handsome. So his hay has a lot of his shedding hair in it because he's been nesting in his food. I don't know, laying in his hay bales. So we're gonna go ahead and take out most of it and then I'll give him some hay. Little handsome. Why are you hiding in that little handsome? Why don't you come out here? Dude, what a brushy brush! Little handsome. I got your toys back. You wanna come play with your toys? Come on out, little handsome. Alrighty then. I got all some new hay to burrow in. He'll eat it. He'll sleep in it. Uh, I also went ahead and moved his water. I want to move his water from here. I'm going to switch it with his food. Because he keeps getting a lot of hay in it. So I'm going to put his water down here. <laughs> Floaties. Alright, and I'm going to put his food there. Just to, just to mess with him. Ha <laughs> ha. Am I messing with you, buddy? Oh. Alright, I know you like things playful and different. So we're just gonna do that for now. See what you do with it. Oh. Oh. Look oh. 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 what's your little face? Oh. Look at your little bunny. Little bunny washing his face. Come on here, little bunny. Show off. Show off them buns. All right, so he's still hiding in his house. We're gonna try to lure him out here with the treat. Ain't falling for it though. Sweet. He knows I wanna give him a brush. Alright, I'll put it right here in your treat bowl. Let's see if he comes out. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. Here, bunny, bunny. So we, bunny. Woo! Can't fall for it. I went in his house and I gave him a little boot on his butt. Say hello, little Hansen. Look at me, I'm shedding. I'm molting. Molting. Not really, I'm shedding. Because I went from winter one week to summer the next. So handsome. Little handsome says hippie hop name. Hippie hop. Otherwise his name is Samwise Pinch. Little Hoppin. Come on my brushy brush. Let's see if mommy can brush your brush.
Okay. He's hiding in the corner. He's like, Mom, I don't want to think of it. <laughs> I don't want to think behind my ears. Hope she'll be singing a song for Because why not? Bunny, bunny, bunny! Bunny! Bunny, bunny, bunny! Bunny! Like, how long have I been brushing? Look at that! Brushy, brush, brush, brush. La 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 Oh look at that! Look at look at that! Sometimes I just use my fingers. But then he's just like predator attack and he'll just shut it all, so I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna be a predator or an alien. <laughs> Look at him, isn't he mad? Oh, I am so mad. Oh. He's probably gonna start stomping. Alrighty then. I'm gonna let you be because you were kind of mad at me and you're like, yo, mom, take a nap. I've been up all night. Don't trust it. I don't trust you, lady. I'm not your friend. I see you. Well, there you go, Sam. Go get the nap. Yeah, he's back to party in his house.
Uh, reading from the wabbitwiki.com. Say that fast. Wabbit wiki. Rabbits love to be clean and will constantly lick themselves like cats. They can get hairballs if they ingest too much fur. And unlike cats, rabbits cannot vomit. So if the hairballs are allowed to form, they can become tangled masses of fur and food and they consequently block their digestion. Regular brushing along with plenty of hay helps reduce this danger as well as keep the fur from building up when you're vacuuming and tidying up. During the molting season, when your rabbit grows a new coat of fur, you can also use your fingers to gently tug and pluck out his loose fur. It should come out easily without too much force and should not bother the rabbit much. We only go through these dry baths maybe two, three times a year. Only when they're in a heavy shedding season and want to get all that extra hair out. We don't clean them that often. They don't require baths and they definitely don't require a submerged bath in water. In fact, it can be harmful for a rabbit to be submerged into water. Esprit is a small pet waterless bath spray. You apply it with a dry towel. We like to use the Viva paper towels. Rabbits should have their nails trimmed every month or two. If you would like to trim your rabbit's nails yourself, you may use a small animal clippers. Normal human nail clippers are not recommended as they're meant to be used on flat nails while a rabbit's nail is more round. Be careful to only cut the nail and not the quick or the blood inside the nail. There are five claws on the each front paw and four claws on each back paw. The quick should be easily located on a white or light colored nail, but if your bunny has a black nail, you might need to shine a bright flashlight from underneath the nail to help you locate the quick. If you do accidentally hit the quick, the rabbit's nail will start bleeding profusely. Add a little stipe tick powder corn starch or baking flour that's been moistened with a cotton swab or cotton ball to the area. Apply moderate pressure for 5 to 10 seconds and stop the bleeding. 